Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 405 Techniques Are Useless Seeing Violet Cloud's confident yet silent smile, Zhao Yueru grew anxious. However, she also could not do anything about this situation so she could only return her focus to the arena. Gentle Snow, on the other hand, was very calm, observing Violet Cloud. Previously, due to her anger over Nimble Snake's treachery, she had only glanced at the cleric, not paying her any mind. Now that Gentle Snow paid closer attention, she discovered that, although this little girl named Violet Cloud seemed like any ordinary spirited and harmless girl, she could feel a faint indescribable pressure from the girl. It felt completely different from the pressure War Wolf gave off. War Wolf felt more like a slumbering, feral wolf. Cruel, domineering, and vicious. As for Violet Cloud, she didn't know how to describe the girl. This was the first time she had encountered such a feeling. Violet Cloud felt like the starry sky at night. Silent, awe-inspiring, and profound. Just who is this little girl that Yifeng brought with him? Gentle Snow was quite confident in the accuracy of her sixth sense. After she started playing God's Domain, that sixth sense had only grown keener. Naturally, Violet Cloud noticed Gentle Snow staring at her. In response, she only nodded her head lightly and beamed a playful smile at the Snow Goddess. Inside the arena, Sure Fong and Soaring Snake faced each other both observing their respective opponent. Both were swordsmen, and the only difference between them was their level. Shurfong was only level 22 while Soaring Snake was level 24. With a difference of two levels and Soaring Snake's grasp of the combat technique Omnivision that granted him insight far beyond the average person, the battle was definitely tilted in Soaring Snake's favor. Yet, even though the starting signal for the battle had already occurred, Soaring Snake remained motionless. He stood there calmly, without any apparent intentions to rush at Sure Fong. Soaring Snake, what are you doing? Why aren't you moving? Soaring Snake's hesitation puzzled his teammates. Usually, Soaring Snake was a battle maniac that would go into a frenzy the moment the battle began. He would never behave as calmly as he was now. Soaring Snake is certainly quite talented. War Wolf revealed a faint smile as he watched the motionless Soaring Snake. Big Brother War Wolf, what do you mean? Nimble Snake asked, confused. When in battle, one does not rely only on their physical prowess, but their mental strength as well. One must remain calm to obtain victory. Soaring Snake is currently adjusting his mentality, War Wolf explained. Indeed, just as War Wolf had said, Soaring Snake was not as excitable as he had once been. Instead, there was a hint of clarity in his eyes. Suddenly, Soaring Snake unsheathed his swords and, with a powerful stomp, dashed towards Shurfong. As the first apostle of Ouroboros, Soaring Snake's weapons and equipment spoke for themselves. Of the two swords he wielded, one was dark gold ranked, while the other was fine gold ranked. Meanwhile, a large majority of his equipment was fine gold ranked. His gear was among the best currently available in God's domain. Soaring Snake crossed more than twenty yards and arrived before Shurfong in an instant. Immediately, he launched a rapid attack at Shurfong. Soaring Snake had no intention of fooling around with Shurfong. However, faced with Soaring Snake's bombardment, Shurfong leisurely unsheathed the Abyssal Blade and the Purgatory's Shadow. Leaning forward, he lightly swung his two swords and readied his battle stance. Suddenly, the atmosphere in the arena changed. Everyone shivered, goosebumps covering their whole bodies. This, what is going on? Gentle Snow could sense something from Shurfong inside the arena. Who is this Yifeng? Chao Chenghua watched Shurfong with shock. Just by adjusting his stance, Shurfong had managed to deter every one of his opponents, causing their hearts to beat madly. Suddenly, silence overtook the arena. Facing Shurfong, Soaring Snake stumbled like a frightened bird, abruptly halting his steps. Not even Soaring Snake understood why he had suddenly stopped. After regaining his composure, he resumed his charge at Shurfong. Your courage is commendable. Shurfong smiled faintly and nodded. Although Shurfong's voice was soft, Soaring Snake, 
with his acute five senses, could hear Sher Feng's words clearly. Rage instantly burned in his heart. Activating Wind Blade, his speed increased once more as he slashed at Sher Feng. However, the moment Soaring Snake was within range, Sher Feng struck his adversary with even greater speed. Sher Feng's sword was as fast as lightning, reaching Soaring Snake in no time at all. Just as the Abyssal Blade was about to slice open Soaring Snake's neck, something strange occurred. The sword, which should have originally cut Soaring Snake, struck only air. Meanwhile, Soaring Snake's upper body completely vanished from Sher Feng's sight. Taking a closer look, Soaring Snake had actually reclined his body to evade Sher Feng's fatal strike. Pity. Soaring Snake revealed a malevolent smile. Before Soaring Snake had even finished speaking, his two swords flew towards Sher Feng's sides. His angle of attack was extremely complex and prevented Sher Feng from dodging. With no better choice, Sher Feng activated Defensive Blade to block the two attacks. He then took the chance to distance himself from Soaring Snake. What is going on here? Soaring Snake can dodge such a fast attack? Zhao Yueru considered herself an expert, and her dynamic vision was excellent. In her view, Sher Feng's previous strike had been perfect. His strike was so fast that the attack should have been impossible to avoid. Yet, that perfect strike had missed Soaring Snake. Instead, Sher Feng was the one who had been struck twice. It was simply too strange. Inside the arena, Sher Feng examined himself for wounds. He frowned at the amused smile plastered on Soaring Snake's face. Leisurely, he said, I never expected that you would have hidden your strength so well. Your reaction speed is impressive. I am both the swordsman and the strongest member of the Twelve Apostles. How could I possibly be slow? Soaring Snake laughed. You, on the other hand, have truly surprised me. You were able to use Defensive Blade the moment I countered your attack. Your reactions are not slow, either. No, I'm not talking about that. Sher Feng shook his head. To be precise, you dodged my sword because your neural reaction is fast. No? Oh? You've discovered that? Soaring Snake asked, feeling slightly surprised. In the next moment, he smiled and said unconcernedly, So what? Do you think you can win despite it? Snow, what are they talking about? Zhao Yueru asked curiously. Many in the spectator stands had overheard the conversation in the arena. Zhao Yueru was thoroughly confused. You saw Yi Feng's attack for yourself. It was a perfect strike. Yet Soaring Snake still dodged it. Do you know how? Gentle Snow inquired, wearing a grim expression. Isn't it because Soaring Snake detected Sher Feng's attack, so he managed to evade it? Zhao Yueru did not understand what Gentle Snow was trying to say. You could put it that way. However, detecting an attack is one thing. Dodging it is an entirely different matter. With the speed of Sher Feng's strike, not even a top-tier assassin could dodge the attack from so close. Yet Soaring Snake had done just that. The reason lies in Soaring Snake's neural response rate. When ordinary people act, their brains go through three processes. Cognition, understanding, and correspondence. Time is required to go through all three. Statistically, the average person's reaction time is 0.3 seconds. Top sprinters who have undergone arduous training can shorten it to around 0.15 seconds. However, no matter how hard a person trains, they can never lower the transmission speed of their neural signals below 0.1 seconds. Of course, this is only common knowledge. Based on Soaring Snake's reaction time, his was 0.07 seconds, possibly around 0.06 seconds. His reaction was a lot faster than the average person. In other words, where an ordinary person can carry out three to four actions in one second, Soaring Snake can act over a dozen times. Because of this, not only could Soaring Snake dodge Sher Feng's sword, but he also managed to stab at Sher Feng twice simultaneously. This is no longer a situation of technique or hard work, but talent. One could say that Soaring Snake is a true combat genius.